Hello and welcome to Brina Creations. Uh, in today's video, I want to show you how to prepare your dried tomatoes. As we know that the cost of the tomatoes is very high now and we are trying to look for strategies to save money which is why I'm here for you on this channel to help you save some money, live healthy on a budget and of course share with you some delicious recipes and the secrets behind them. So I've added some salt in this tomato. I bought this tomato, it's one move do for 2000 naira. I shared a video on my last market vlog and I'm going to be linking that in this video. Um, so I have, I have allowed this to soak just a little bit. Meanwhile, I'm removing the head as well, the stalk from the tomatoes. And this has been soaking. Uh, this is the first wash. The only downside to this is that you have to wash very well because it can come with a lot of sand. But there are so many advantages for um, advantages of using this um, dry tomatoes because uh, it the taste you won't even notice it because of course you're not going to use just the dry tomatoes. I eventually join my tetache and everything. You're going to just keep watching and you see everything um, that I'm doing on this uh, with these tomatoes. And one other good thing is. It rises. I mean, you just keep adding your mist up or your water, and then it just keeps rising. This tomato you're seeing here, this one mudu of tomato, is equivalent to one basket of tomato, and even more if I'm not mistaken. So that's it, guys. This is a healthy alternative, and you don't need to worry too much about the color because they are ripe tomatoes. And no, they are not made from rotten tomatoes. They are fresh tomatoes, just like you have dry tatashe and dry pepper. They have vest, and then instead of them going to waste, they and they have a lot, you know, um, uh, harvested. Instead of them going to waste, they just dry it. So this is how it's done. I used to have this. Um, I usually have this. Um, dry tatashe and even dry tomatoes handy but right now i don't have dry tatashe if i had i would have um, added it to this i made a video some time ago on how to prep your dry tomatoes and tatashe and i'm going to be linking that also to this video guys um yeah so this is one of the ways to go about it as an alternative to carrot to cucumber stew this way you're going to be having your regular tomato stew and you won't even know the difference i can bet you once you've done this washing and this um this washing i did about five times but you can do up to six seven times depending on your preference uh, at five at the fifth wash i i was good to go I do, don't forget that I added some salt to get it started. I've added my dry tomatoes and here is my tatashi and some if you some um shombo. Um yes, and then here goes in my green spring onions, my onions, which is you know the regular way you do your tomato mix. I made a video on tomato mix, tomato pepper mix, and I'm also going to be sharing that with you guys. Um so look at that dry tomatoes with this i added by the way i added a little bit of water underneath just to get it started because um it's dry and then there's no moisture this way you don't even the last tomato pepper mix i made i had uh, there was a lot of water left which i eventually used to um as my stock for my jollof and stews or cooking meat but this one is completely dry in fact you'll be looking for the water you will not see and as it is like this it can fill this quantity can fill your big pot of stew and that you can eat up to three times with your family don't forget i always supplement this or i complement this with tin tomatoes yeah that's how i do mine and you would not you would not even know that you're using dry tomatoes guys so that's why i have um i am here for you on this channel like I said earlier, if you're new here, you're welcome. And then, yes, there's, it burnt a little bit, just a little bit. And it's good because it gives that smoky vibes that I love so much. If you're new here, you're welcome. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. I hope you're able to learn one or two things from this video, guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you can get notified anytime I share a new post. 
Also, drop your comments below if you have any questions. Feel free, feel free to ask me. Give me a thumbs up so that YouTube can know that you like videos like this and I can share more. It encourages me to do more for you guys. You know, I love you. So, let me know in the comment section what you think and then I'll be seeing you in my next one. Don't forget to eat healthy, stay safe and until I see you next time. Bye!